The valve island is currently in an OK state, which means that all mounted components are functioning properly. This state is signaled by the first LED on top, which blinks green and is labeled SYS. We will now proceed to add components to control the behavior of the island. When a component is added or removed from the island, the status of the SYS LED changes from green to red flashing, indicating that the island correctly detected the change but has not yet recognized it. Furthermore, if new components are added, the LEDs on the valves will light up to show what was present in the previous configuration and what was not. We then connect the USB cable to the module after the valve island recognizes the new components. We launch the software Kamazi USB gateway to verify that the USB connection was successful by checking that the device appeared with the COM number and serial number in the upper right pane called Open Comms, and then click on the mapping page. On this page there will be a button called Require Mapping that will be unclickable at first, so click on the device's COM in the Open Comms box first, then click on the Require Mapping button. Once the software procedure is completed, the device will require a reboot for the procedure to be successful, then disconnect and repower the device. When the device is turned back on, the SYS LED will flash green again if the procedure was successful.